All right, you two friends, I have another unboxing today and it is a motorcycle kit. I uh, really enjoyed building the last one. Um, so I decided I'm gonna start buying and building more motorcycle kits. And so you're gonna get more uh, unboxing and uh, overviews of them. And this is uh, 112 scale uh, Yamaha Virago from Tamiya. And I vaguely remember this bike from the 80s or 90s. Um, I mean, it wasn't like a huge popper bike, but as a, it was, uh, you know, like a a a, a, ro a cruiser, a road cruiser bike that came out um, then. So I'm pretty sure this kit was first issued around that time frame. Um, it's not a modern kit, that's for sure. So here is what looks on the outside of the box. And then um, let's see what's inside. Okay, these are instructions. I'm not going to go through it now because I'm going to uh, photograph these instructions and put them on this video for you so you can pause the video and examine them carefully. Uh, suffice to say, they're, they're, they're typical. They're typical Tamiya instructions. If you ever build a Tamiya kit, you know, you know what I'm talking about. They pretty much look all the same, very detailed and very well um, designed. So, all right. Okay. So the first brew we have the seat and you can see that there is quite a bit of detail in the leather. I mean, they're, they're trying to make the uh, plushiness of the leather, of the leather. You know, I think they did a really good job on it. And then this is a frame. Um, this is part of the motor, probably. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Spark plugs, kickstand. Not kickstand, but a stand. Um, yeah, this is the uh, uh, the fuel um, container. <laughs> I, I I can't even remember what you call them anymore. So, and it's I see that it has uh, Yamaha engraved on it. So. This looks like the fuel cap, but I could be wrong. And this is the back cushion. This is probably the uh, rear mirrors or, 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 or blinker lights. So, and you can see that, you know, all, a lot of these parts have the Virago logo on them. Oh uh, yeah, and then this is the handlebars, so. And if you look closely, you can see like the detail for the handlebar grips. It's nice. And then you see like this, the nub on the end of the handlebar, uh, which is a good detail, a fine detail. So it's hard to believe this kit is that old, but you know, with all this detail, but it's uh, just a testament to Tamiya, the commitment that to quality that Tamiya has maintained all these years. And these are the wheels. Uh, hmm, I didn't know this, but it looks like the wheel for the rear is bigger than the wheel for the front. I think it's, it's going to be made up for the size of the tire. So, it's, uh, engine parts, disc brakes. Okay, I see that these disc brakes are vented or not vented. So, I don't have to worry about drilling out holes. Engine parts. Engine parts, and so you can see like the the really crisp detailing on these engines. On on these uh, cylinder heads, so that should be really. It should come out really nice. The uh, Suzuki Katana that I built came out, you know, pleasing pleasingly well uh, and I during the whole time of building it I didn't really 
realize that it was such an old kit. So these are the frame parts. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Light buckets. Probably more light buckets. Okay, this is the the rear view mirrors. Um, and the fork assembly. This looks like an uh, exhaust pipe. More frame. All that exhaust pipe. And this looks like the uh, for the clutch. I'm not sure what these guys are. Okay, this is the handlebar. More engine parts. And then uh, I think these are the rear the rear blinker assembly. And this looks like the rear fender and this looks like a front fender so you see like you know all these parts are uh, this looks like the foot rests so um, yeah take a look at the detail and the quality of the chrome so yeah it looks it looks good it looks like a modern kit that was just uh, created in a couple of years ago or recently as opposed to decades ago all right so we're gonna have the uh, these are for the cables the brake cables you know etc and then it looks like these springs are gonna be for the uh, suspension which is nice and of course the you have screws for assembling it and then you know this is the tires, and you can see, well, you know, even, even, even compared to the other day, the front tire is actually bigger or more, uh, bigger in di diameter than the rear ones. And you see like the tread is, is actually quite good. A small, you can see the small seam, but it's actually looks realistic. It's not, it's not grossly exaggerated like most tire seams. So you shouldn't really have to do much with that. All right, and then these are the clear parts and the, uh, you know, the decals. Not much. And then you have the instruments, uh, license plate, and then this is for the fuel tank. So really not much going on there. And then the clear parts, front, uh, rear, you know, and then assembly, and then the side blinkers, and that's pretty much it. There's, there's nothing, uh, there's no, nothing else. So yeah, this kit should not be that difficult to build. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to be posting um, a build video on this when I'm complete. I mean, I know if I say that with a lot of models, but uh, I do record in my build process so but the, the thing is that it takes a long time to create these build videos and to edit them so um, it's easier for me to do these unboxings and uh, yeah. and then I, I hope it helps people to know what they're getting when they buy these kits so anyway um, I'm gonna be photographing everything uh, all you know the, the sprues so you'll see what you're so you can have a close-up view and also I'm going to be photographing the instructions so you'll see more of it. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you enjoy, you know, these type of videos, like and subscribe and I'll produce more for, the, for you.